Hey everybody, um, this is very unorthodox uh, for me to be talking about, but I just love it so much that I figured I would do a video talking about my car. Um, I'm gonna focus this video on why I love my car so much. Um, I haven't really heard much about it to be honest, and so uh, during Christmas I saw the commercial of that girl with the guitar and she's singing about why she loves her Hyundai and I thought that was so hilarious. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and you're supposed to sit in videos and stuff like that and of course I didn't do it because I didn't have a car then. But um, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be kind of new for me. I don't intend on doing any other videos about cars or automotive <laughs> things. That's not really my my thing, but I wanted to tell you the three reasons why I love my car. So starting off, obviously I have a Hyundai. Um, we bought, my husband and I purchased the 2012 Hyundai Veloster. This is the orange one. We bought the, the red one. The red one, I personally believe, looks the best. It just looks so fancy. So that's the red one. The coat is like totally cherry. It is amazing. Like when you see it in person, when you see it glinting in the sun, it's just gorgeous. Um, pretty much our backstory was we were looking for maybe a hybrid or something to trade in my husband's car. He had a Subaru WRX and um, it was just guzzling gas. He was paying like, you know, the car payment was extremely high. And I mean, he had a 2007, so we were still paying on the car. So not only was the car payment like really, really high, but he has to drive approximately 45 miles to work. Um, and that was just gouging us. I mean, between the both of us, with me driving 195 miles a day, and he was driving 95, 90 miles a day, um, pretty much our gas bill a month is at least a thousand dollars. My car takes premium and his car took premium gas and it was just totally gouging. So we were thinking about getting a hybrid, but we completely hated the styling of most hybrids. They just look horrendous. And during Christmas we were seeing a lot of commercials for Hyundai and I don't know, like this is just kind of like what always went through my head when I thought about Hyundai. It was just like, yeah, but it's a Hyundai. I mean, I'm not very materialistic, but if you're going to spend money on a car that you're going to have like for 10 plus years, I don't know. It's kind of like an investment, I guess. Now, like in my family, we never had like really super expensive cars. Like we were pretty much like Ford or Honda, but um, yeah, just... For some reason, like, Hyundai seemed lower than Honda. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, whenever I thought about, you know, like, Hyundai, it just didn't really sound too impressive. <laughs> You're like, oh, great, I got a Hyundai. Um, but their new styling on pretty much every car on their entire line is just amazing. It's just, it blows me away. I was totally shocked. I mean, because we were really looking at the Lexus, CT 300, 3000, 2000, something like that. Because it's the hybrid Lexus, and we were really looking at that one, but we just could not justify spending like $30,000 on a car um, that is just like the base model. There was nothing really fancy to it, and although it was a really nice car, we just couldn't justify it. So we thought about it for like a month, and we still didn't want to go through with it. And then literally within one day, we saw a commercial for the Veloster. We went to our local Hyundai dealership. They only had the green, so we test drove that one. But I came home, went on Carfax, typed in the red color with the red interior with um, both of the upgrade packages, and went to the dealer that they had suggested and bought it the same day. Um, I would, you know, at first I was like, it's an impulse buy, but totally it wasn't. Um, we've had it for about two months now, and I do not regret it at all. I love it every single day that I drive. So my husband traded in his car, and we got the value out from that. 
and applied it to this car. Um, out the door, I mean, with both packages, we paid like, well, it starts at 17, but out the door, it's like 24 with, well, not out the door, but with both packages, it's 24,000. If you do Carfax, though, it drastically decreases the amount that you pay. So with our car, it was a little bit more just because they already put on, um, like the window tinting and they already put on low jack and things like that. Like we really didn't want it, but it was already on there. And so they were charging us extra. And it was so funny because we were like, no, Carfax says that this car was going to have these amenities and it was going to be this price. So therefore we want that price. And they did end up giving it to us for around 24,000 before taking out the, um, deductions or the credit for his car. So yeah, getting, that's kind of like the backstory, but getting into why I love the Hyundai so much. So again, the Veloster, um, number one, style. It's amazing. Now my car that, I mean, you still have my car, but my husband's driving it now. It's the um, Acura RSX Type S and that's a 2004. Um, of course, it's a hatch. It's a smaller car, two-door, and I'm used to driving a smaller car. I like smaller cars, and so that was really great that we have a car that is also small, um, but it looks so cool. I mean, from every angle that you can look at it, it just looks so amazing. It doesn't look like a chick car, and it kind of looks like a do car, to be honest with you. Like, some cars, you're just like, oh, that's a chick car. You know, like, I'd never, being a dude, I'd never, like, you know, drive that. But my husband looks so good in it. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, no, it's sexy. This car is like totally sexy. If I literally could choose any other car right now, well, number one would be a Karma, but obviously that's not going to happen. <laughs> but this would definitely be number two. I would not trade this car for a BMW or a Lexus. I'm like hands down in love with this car. So number one style. It has like the sunroof on the top goes all the way back to like your back seat. You can see everything with your sunroof open. Um, I don't know. It just has so many style features that just completely blow me away. The same stuff the Lexus had in their hybrid has in the Hyundai, but it tops it. I mean, it's just amazing. Style wise, it is hands down the best looking car, car on the road right now. Absolutely. Um, number two, functionality. So that's obviously really important in a commuter car. So functioning, um, obviously we're looking at the hybrid. This is not a hybrid, but it takes unleaded gas, which obviously I'm saving there. And I get, I personally get 48 miles to the gallon. I sure do. They have this program on there that you can use to see how like your gas mileage changes by the way that you drive. And after a while, like after a couple days of dri driving and you look at it, you can tell how, you know, how you're driving, what you're doing to either, you know, save on gas or really guzzle it. <laughs> so I actually get 48 miles to the gallon and, you know, don't tell the CHP, but I am going over the speed limit. Only by five miles an hour though. But still, like even if you went 80, it still gives you around 46 miles to the gallon. So that's so awesome. Because when you think of like a, a gas saving vehicle that, you know, has really high uh, miles per gallon, you think you have to go like super slow in order to achieve that. No, not at all. Um, the get up and go is amazing in this car. Um, I mean, it's not as good as my Acura. Um, and it's not as good as a Subaru, but in comparison to like just regular vehicles, it has really good get up and go. I would not classify it as slow at all. When you want the power, you have it. Um, but you know, it's not meant for horsepower. So don't expect like you're going to go race it. Cause that's just not what it's intended to be for. <laughs> um, so gas unleaded, it looks way better than a hybrid. Um, the Prius, I'm sorry, it just, I would be so embarrassed to drive one of those things. Like, I know they save the planet and whatnot, but they just look like crap. I mean, like, from any angle you look at it, they just look horrendous. Um, sorry if you own one, but <laughs> 
I personally do not like the way they look, um, no matter how much they're going to save you on gas. Um, yeah, they, so this car is definitely looking better than the hybrid, and when I compare my car to the Lexus hybrid, when I see it on the road, I totally am so thankful that we went with the Hyundai instead of the Lexus. So thankful. Number three, we're on to number three, the price. Um, obviously if you buy a hybrid, I mean, even with the Toyota Prius, when you add on all the stuff that actually makes the car nice, in the inside at least, you're up to $32,000. So what's the point? I mean, I don't get it. Don't understand why. This car is like the shit. Um, it starts at $17,000 and it goes up from there. Um, really, if you do Carfax, you shouldn't pay any more than $24,000 out the door, regardless of what kind of extras they try to throw on. Just stick with your guns and you will get it for $24,000. Um, yeah, so that's an awesome price considering the other hybrids are super expensive. You know, you just can't beat that price and you're getting all the luxury of a luxury vehicle in a Hyundai. It doesn't even look like a Hyundai. When you look at the back of it, the Veloster is kind of like it's scripted, so it kind of looks like a Porsche. You know how like the Porsche is scripted on the back of the Porsches? That's what it looks like. And so you literally have to take a double look. Seriously. Um, I have been stopped at the gas station at least five times with people wanting to carry on a conversation and a review about how much I like my car. I guess this is kind of what prompted this video because I've been getting so much feedback from just people I don't know who they are just walking up to me and stopping me when I'm pumping gas. Like, what is it? How do you like it? How long have you had it? You know, what's your MPG? Like, wanting to know the whole tour. They One guy actually came up to me. I thought he was such a creep. Oh my gosh, I was so scared. Um, but of course he wasn't. He was actually pretty nice. Um, he came up to me and he wanted like a full tour of the car. He wanted to open the trunk. He wanted to look in the back seat. It was hilarious. Um, but I think he sold. I guess he drives to LA every day. And so it was something that he really liked. I really like it. I definitely recommend this car. If you get, if you're really in the market for a car, even if you don't, you're not in a market for a car that, you know, is really good on gas mileage, this car cannot be beat for luxury, for amenities. I mean, it has everything. It has Blue Link, Condé Blue Link. So, oh, it's just so awesome. It connects straight up to my um, iPod, my iPod, but my iPhone without any cords. Um, you can play all your music. You can do like, you know, there's um, functions where you can change the music on the steering wheel. It's just so amazing. I can just go on forever, but I'm not going to, trust me. I think I'm going to do another video, though, to give you an actual tour of my car. Um, it's really dark right now because it's 7 o'clock, but I will probably give it a bath um, this weekend and then maybe do another tour of, like, an actual tour um, of like what it looks like on the outside, what it looks like on the inside, um, kind of like an automotive type of, this is my car. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I really love my haunting. It's so pretty. <sighs> I just can't say enough. Oh, by the way, I named my Hyundai. Its name is Wally. Yeah, his name's Wally. He's so cute. I love my Wally. Okay, so that's enough for me. I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you're in the market for a car, go buy a Hyundai. They all look amazing. Talk to you guys later. Bye.